there were, I, and I can't even remember how many people after I read the article um, who had been sent to jail because they weren't paying their city fines. And I mean, it's, it's literally debtor's prison. And um, this went on for years. And I think it was like a nine year suit, like a nine year law battle, if I remember that correctly from the article. Um, and they finally settled out with the city for 4.5 thousands of people, thousands of people. More who, than 15,000 who were jailed by the city of Ferguson between February, 2010 and December, 2022 over unpaid fees. That's just wild. It is almost hard to, I mean, even with all of that, we know, even when you say mm -hmm. it's debtor's prison, it's still like, what? That is right. still a thing. How, and it how is was still that? a thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. And even, you know, when you even think about the amount, if you think about, when you think about the amount of people, right, 4.5 million is not like, ain't nobody making a whole lot off of this, right? Um, but when you also think about the idea that now this the city of Ferguson has is now going to pay millions of dollars out to its res, to its residents because they don't know how to treat people because the city doesn't know how to treat people because they were profiting off of sending people to jail over these these fines right and it's like any and all they all cities do this right like you get a ticket and you know the tickets for whatever nonsense you got the ticket for red light jaywalking like whatever whatever the ticket is for and if you don't pay the ticket you get a notification in the mail that they couldn't put a warrant out for your arrest because you didn't pay the ticket right like i got one of those notices because i forgot to pay a parking ticket and i remember thinking to myself wait a minute you're going to put a warrant out for my arrest because I forgot to pay the parking ticket because I was running late and decided that like it was going to be worth just paying the parking ticket over missing the train. <laughs> like what, what is going on right now? Um, which is, which is, did my audio go out? Can you hear me? No, I can hear you. You're good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But but which and, and that your point about the train is is uh, uh, to shout out to the to the show Archer Frankie foreshadowing uh, you, you doing a little Frankie foreshadowing with that that was pretty slick uh, <laughs> especially if unintended but but this part here is crazy uh, um, and unfortunately no longer with us Kaylee Fant was jailed more than a dozen times between the ages of 17 and 37 because of her inability to pay fines. Uh, in 2022, she died before the settlement, mm -hmm. but had spoken out about how all of this had still affected her and taken a lot out of her. Mm -hmm. It was so inhumane that people couldn't believe it was actually going on. So a dozen uh, uh, incarcerations. Over a 20 year span over fines i mean that's fines. but this is this is how they criminalize being poor right like this is literally how they criminalize being poor you get a ticket for something that honestly you're probably doing because you're not in a position to do it without getting the ticket right like if i don't have to get to work because if I don't work, I can't pay my bills, right? I'm not, I'm not debating about missing the train, right? I'm probably just driving to work, but paying for parking where I work is so expensive and out of control that I have to take the train because <laughs> I can't afford to pay for parking. <laughs> and the train is limited run. So I can't, I can't miss that train because I'm not gonna get where I need to get to on time. 
And I know based on all of those things that the parking ticket is actually going to be cheaper than paying for parking. So I decide to eat it because of course, you know, getting to, you know, and it's partially my fault. Like you're running late, whatever have you, you get to the parking lot, you don't have time to walk all the way to the machine and push the buttons and do the things. Right. So you should go to so, jail. Though. Right. So you get you get the fine. And then if you can't pay for the fine at the time when you get the ticket, now you're in a whole other piece of trouble. Like it's all the whole system is set up to punish you for not having enough money to not need the system. <laughs> right. Because if you're a billionaire, or a millionaire, you don't need to ride the train. You don't need to worry about parking. You don't need to worry about getting anywhere on time because everybody works for you, right? So your driver can get you wherever you're going whenever you get there and people are just going to wait because you're the boss, right? Your whole situation is completely different. And then if, because, and, 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 not to mess up any order you would you had intended for us, but I mean, just oh, there's no order. The... We just we just roll, well, and it, it well, was because... totally unintended. FYI, but I mean, <laughs> it's it's crazy because you say you know you're you're you, the issue could be uh, struggling to get to the train, mm -hmm. and and you know, God forbid, you're running and running too fast. Somebody might get confused, mm -hmm. and and you might run into one of these armed national security. National Guard, who who are now in 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 New York City subway stations, mm -hmm. uh, uh, because uh, the good governor of New York has decided that it's important to deploy a thousand National Guardsmen, state police, and MTA police to patrol the subways in an effort to combat the increasing crime across the city. So. I, I, Again, I love I love mm -hmm. the response is never mm -hmm. we're going to redistribute services. We're going to we're going to help it, you know, make people's lives easier. Right. We're going to alleviate. And, and I think, yeah, if I remember correctly, I think part of what they claimed kicked this off was. Um, someone did someone get cut, someone got slashed on the subway or something, and I think. So don't don't quote me on that, y'all. Um, but you know, I grew up in New York, as I've said multiple times, and I lived in Brooklyn and I went to school in Manhattan, and I had my commute on the train. Like I lived on the very first stop of the two train, so I got on at the very first stop. Actually, the two and the five train, and I rode the five train. I got on at the very first stop of the five train, and I rode it all the way up into the Upper East Side of Manhattan. So I had like a good 45, 50 minute train ride. And this was in the late eighties, early nineties. And there was a ton of crime <laughs> happening on the trains, right? <laughs> like